so today I'm going to be doing another Halloween makeup look. My last one turned out really well and I got a lot of support on it so I figured I would do another one. When I picked up the supplies for my last makeup look I also picked up this uh, Skull Zipper Makeup Kit. It just looks like this. I actually took everything out. So this is what I'll be using today. This was on sale for $9. Just go to your guys' local uh, like Halloween store and I'm sure they'll have one like this. So in it just came like zippers, the spirit gum, spirit gum remover, a bunch of these sponges that I used in my last video. Don't use your guys' makeup brushes. If you guys are going to use makeup brushes when it comes to using like spirit gum and stuff, or the liquid latex, make sure it's brushes that you guys do not care about because they will ruin your makeup brushes. So do not use any good fancy ones unless you're okay with replacing it. Um, there's an eyeliner in it. I got this um, face paint and this neck piece, I'm guessing. It's really stiff though, so I don't know how well that would actually hold down. But it just came with it. So I'm just going to use everything. I'm going to be using some supplies from my last video also. So I have a relatively good idea about what I want to do with my makeup look today. But I'm just going to wing it for the most part <laughs> like I do with everything else. So I hope you guys enjoy. I already have my face clean and ready to go. As usual, I'm not going to moisturize my face because I really want the prosthetics to stick to my skin very well and I do not want them sliding around and with lotions and oils and stuff that you can use on your skin can tend to do that. So for this look, I'm just going to hurry up and put on my foundation. And for this makeup look, I'm just going to also use my Ready Set Gorgeous foundation by CoverGirl again just to get an even base there. So, and then I'm just going to use this toothbrush looking face brush and I'm going to put my foundation on real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I just put a foundation on real quick. I also used my It Cosmetics face powder to set it and then I used my Anastasia Beverly hills eyebrow pencil and just filled in one eyebrow <laughs> that's it so next what we're gonna do we're gonna start placing our prosthetics that's the easiest part to do so I might as well get that done and over with now so I'm going to be using the zipper that came with this kit it's a really crappy quality zipper if you guys can see look at it, it's all fraying and whatnot that doesn't really matter I don't need no high quality but I'm just letting you guys know any zipper will do like I said you can put it anywhere in your face I'm gonna do mine right about there Okay, take your spirit gum and start to place it on the appliance. Don't have to worry about making it perfect. It just needs to be sticky enough so it can go on your face and that'll be it. So I'm going to put this on my skin too. Make sure you don't get it in your hair. Make sure it, like it'll it'll be a pain in the ass. Just don't get it in your hair if you can. Make sure to really saturate the zipper in that spirit gum. Like so far it's a pain in the ass to deal with these zippers I didn't think it was gonna be this hard but it took forever to lay it down I'm not gonna do the bottom yet probably not till the end of this that's when I'll glue those ones down cuz I don't want to be moving my neck and it just kind of pulls up and messes everything up I just took an eyeliner pencil this is the one that came with the makeup kit just so I know exactly where to cut it just makes life easier and then I'm just gonna take my lash scissors that I need a new pair anyways they just suck and I'm just gonna cut along the lines Okay, just put glue around the appliance and then go back put it to your face like my last video okay so only put glue on the outer perimeters of the mouthpiece because you don't need it to be you don't need it to actually like glue in your mouth or any of that nonsense so don't do any of that that's just too much extra nonsense now that you got the glue on there just place it and then you might have to pull the tabs back a little bit if it's not sticking enough and then just put some more glue there and then push it back and pull back put glue and then push back now I'm gonna start gluing down the appliances and the rest of the video will just be captioned because because I won't be able to talk once I have the appliance on my lips and all that. So you guys can just watch what I do. And then we're just going to go from there. Remember, we used toilet paper in the last one. So that's what I'm going to use again. So let's just get right into it. Mm. 